Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo LOQ15i gaming laptop. This is gonna be the Gen 9 version. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage if you need to replace or upgrade it. I'll also shout out some specs to help you find a replacement if you need. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom, one on either side near the middle, and then these four up top for a total of 10 screws. After you get those screws out, you're gonna take your small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools will tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones will. And I would recommend starting in, in the back corners here. Uh, you're going to pop it open, you're going to go around this seam, pop the bo uh, bottom case up from the computer, then you're going to go down each side, and then you're going to finish up on this edge. This edge is the hardest to get off, so I would go from the back to the front on this computer. After you've taken your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm opening a computer, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have all those tools and replacement parts for the LOQ15i. Now, before I do anything in a computer, I will either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safe to work on the computer with as little power as possible running through it. The battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as you can see in your computer, there's a small grip on either side of that black plug. So you can use your fingernails or a pry tool and you can go one side at a time and pry that out from that plug. As with any computer plugs, you want to avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible. You want to just manipulate that plug whenever possible. Okay, so now that your battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper in the computer. As you notice here, you have an M.2 port right there for a solid state drive, and then another M.2 port right here. So you have two M.2 ports. These can take either a 2242, as you can see right here, or the longer 2280 solid state drive Gen 4s. So I don't know what you guys have stock in your computer. This one was a 256 gigabyte. Uh, so below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts, I'll try to have a couple different upgrade options, a terabyte, a uh, two terabyte option, in case you guys are looking to upgrade these solid state drives. The way to work this, you have a single screw right there for the 2242s. After you take that screw out, this can be pulled to the right out of this port. And if you have the longer 2280s, your screw hole is right there. And for this one, your screw hole is right here with that smaller one being in the middle as well. And I guess the last side note here, guys, when you're installing a new solid state drive, you're gonna have to install an operating system onto that drive in order to use your computer. I will have two different links below in the description uh, there'll be a video showing you how to install Windows 10 and then another video showing you how to install Windows 11, depending on which one you guys want. So I hope this was helpful. It's how you access your storage in the LOQ15i. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.